Hi, this is real estate attorney and legal blogger Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. I want to go over with you all today a little bit what's going on with the Obamacare real estate sales tax. There are a lot of misnomers out there that this is this tax is somehow going to uh, destroy uh, the real estate market, particularly the residential real estate market in the United States. And I want to make clear that first of all that is not the case. The only individuals who will be subject to this tax, and I know it's a little complicated, so just stick with me if you can, are those people who make $250,000 a year if they're married, or $200,000 individually. But it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be subject to that tax. You have to have also made a $500,000 gain on the sale of your home. Now, maybe you know people who make $500,000 on the sale of their home after most, after all, most people have negative equity in their home, they certainly aren't going to be making a half million dollars on their home. But let's just for a moment pretend you are one of those people who make over $250,000 a year as a married couple and you do have